So in this episode today, ladies and gentlemen, it is that time again where we put our brain cells to the test. I mean, you could say that about 99.9% .9 of my other videos, but boy, do these ones push the boundaries. Welcome to another woke TikTok reaction. One of the hardest videos to make, I'm not gonna lie, because afterwards I'm always left thinking, there is no way on God's green earth this is going on within society. It's an absolute mess. Then again, did you need me to say that? Absolutely so before we get into it if you could as always make sure to leave a like rating if you're new hit that subscribe button turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video comment on this video share this video follow my socials down below in the description and let's get into it i've never seen the z slash the pronouns before genuinely curious about it what does it stand for one word insanity there we go i perfectly explained it we don't need to carry on with this video <laughs> let's just see what this lovely Stunning and brave woman has to say, shall we? And I'm sure it'll be a well thought out thing and we won't be thinking, what the F have we just heard? Um, ZZ are actually my pronouns. They are a non-binary expression um, for people who don't resonate with they, them because not everyone does. There are other ones as well, such as Fay Femme. And uh, many people have reasons for why they would prefer to go by an alternative. I have my own, and I will be doing my own explanation video on my TikTok later in the week. But for now, um, yeah, they're just my pronouns and they are what I go by as a non-binary person. Ladies and gentlemen, first and foremost, I just wanna congratulate this woman on doing something so brave. It, it does bring a tear to my eye. It, really does but do you remember when it was all about just accepting non-binary people for who they are and you must use they slash them pronouns now they don't even resonate with those pronouns and they're making new ones up z slash z face slash feb or whatever those ones were how much further can this go how much longer does this need to go on for society is now expected to keep up with this if you don't use z slash z pronouns <coughs> you're done like me with this planet Crying for the millionth time about how much easier my life would be if I were white. Hey look man, if you're recording yourself in the car and then you upload it and post it on social media, that's embarrassing in itself, I'll just say that now, but this is what a victimhood mindset does and we can't forget about critical race theory that indoctrinates people to think this certain way and hey look, in 2024, I'm not so sure because, you know, every single day people wake up and within social media, in the mainstream media, they're told their white privilege is absolutely disgraceful. You're oppressing people left, right and center. You must apologize for X, Y, Z. And with DEI, you know, things aren't looking too good. You know, life seems to get easier and it's interesting how this works, right? It's kind of like nobody's heard of it before. Um, if you put the work in, you work hard you better yourself. If you don't do any of those things, of course your life isn't going to get better. It's not because you're black and you're not white. It's simple. Put the work in. Stop being lazy. Just to let you know, this page supports LGBTQ plus people and their rights. If you are against that, I mean, you wouldn't have to ask me twice or anybody else with common sense and hopefully the parents see that and pull their kids out of the classroom. And you could just talk to yourself about the LGBTQ plus community. I think you missed some letters out there, so that's discrimination in itself. <laughs> and what flag is that, by the way? I don't think I've ever seen that flag in my life. I feel like I see a new flag every single week and a new color gets added to that flag the very next day. How many more flags do they need? And why do they need to keep hanging them up in the classroom? Homeschool your kids is the best answer to this insanity right now. No, not my eyeballs. My... Balls. You know, down there at the Danglers. Yeah, I had them removed in 2018. It's called an orchiectomy. As I consider myself to be a genderless dragon, and I will at some point get a full penectomy. You know, <laughs> not many times I'm left here thinking, what do I say? Uh, but this is one of those times. <laughs> we now have genderless dragons flying about within society, ladies and gentlemen. If you see one in the sky, make sure to get a picture. You. <laughs> this is the extreme side effects of gender ideology. I think it's safe to say, you know, this person needs help ASAP. Pronto, the best of the help there is, because <laughs> this ain't normal. I have no gender, no genitalia to identify my gender. I love that. 
Yeah. Wait, they've got no nose. What is going on? <laughs> and they've got horns in their head. Ah. Could you imagine if this became the norm? I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. Sometimes I get so frustrated that I feel like fat liberation isn't taken very seriously when it go. is life threatening to fat people. The only thing that's threatening to fat people is the lifestyle. It's not that hard really, is it? Fat people face medical discrimination and this means that there are times when they are not given medical treatment because they're told they need to lose weight first. There are times symptoms are overlooked because of their weight. There are times when doctors are just flat out rude to them because of their weight, which makes them not go to the doctor, which makes those health problems just fester. Do you know how you could potentially, you know, limit those health problems in the first place? Lose weight. These videos and the discrimination that they talk about is used as a coping mechanism to not lose weight. So when something bad eventually does happen, they can then play the victim and say, oh, we're facing discrimination. It's not because I'm overweight. It's because of this. It's because of that. You look like a man. You'll never be a woman. Look at me. I'm already succeeding as being a woman. People say, hello, ma'am. When I like walk out in public, this is what I look like. This is pretty damning evidence against me being a man. I look like a woman and I'm not wearing any makeup. I'm not using any filters. I just look like this and I look like a woman and that's the end of the story. You're a dude. And that's the end of the story. Hi love, here are three ways to disrespect your elders. What is so this if you're dealing guys? with a narcissistic parent or a bullying boss at work, you need to one, play innocent. There's some sort of secret code or language they're using to try to get you to do what they want. And all you need to do is ask, what do you mean? I don't get it. Could you explain that? Be innocent. Number two, feel no guilt. Bullies and narcissists use guilt as leverage. And if you refuse to feel guilty, it doesn't matter what you do or what they do or say. And number three, limit Contact. Hello, man. I'm done listening to this guy. He has a fascination with telling people to disrespect their elders, disrespect their parents, create no contact. I, I don't know why, but it's kind of strange to me. TikTok allow this sort of content on their platform, yet if you criticize Jeffrey Marsh in any way, shape, or form, your video gets taken down. You're more likely to get into trouble. It's interesting, and I don't think it's a coincidence either. It's transgender day of visibility, but I really hope that you don't only see me. Cause visibility without power leads to violence, so how are you gonna show up for the trans community? Repeat after me. I will confront my transphobic friends. I will confront my transphobic friends. I'll go and call my state reps. I'll go and call my state reps. I'll be a champion for trans rights. I'll be a champion for trans rights. And I will respect your name and pronouns, confront my personal biases, educate myself so you don't have to, and pay you money. Why do you need money? Why do people need to give money? This has got to be one of the cringiest songs I have ever heard. We've seen the worst TikTok I've ever seen, and now I've seen the worst song I've ever heard. What a video, huh? What a video. The Transgender Day of Visibility. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you all saw the recent controversy this year with that day and what day it also fell on. But apparently we can't see these people. They need a day of visibility. So not only is there a Transgender Day of Visibility, there's... Pride Month, there's another day, there's another day, there's another day. It seems like there's a day every single day of the year. I've never seen people need so much validation in my life. I really haven't. And now we're making songs to go along with that. And you must contact your state reps. You must confront your friends. You must address the transphobic remarks. You must pay money. Right then. What more does society need to do? Really? But leave your thoughts down below, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure you enjoyed this video. We finished off on a fantastic song. Yeah, the less spoken about that, the better. Uh, if you have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like rating. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. Comment on this video, share this video. But until next time, it has been your boy JD. Have a great day. Stay safe. And I'm out. Peace. I'm going to go and look for the agendaless dragons in the sky now. Try and get a picture of these rare animals. I don't know what you're going to get up to, but uh, wish me luck with that one. I'll let you know how it goes. Genderless dragons. Wow. I've seen it all. We've seen it all now.